Okay, so let us look at the instruction for step number eight. It reads as follows. Apply the accounting number format to the first row of sales figures and to the total row. Apply the uh, comma style to the remaining sales figures. Okay, so here what you need to understand is how to apply the accounting number format and how to use the comma style. Okay, so let us just go back to our working document and then once we get here, oh, let me get rid of this. Uh, you need to highlight this row uh, and highlight this row as well and then change here you need to look for this added here the number uh what do you call it this ribbon the number ribbon okay so once you get here you will click on this thing here to get options to apply the accounting number for me okay so let me show you how to do that okay so i'm gonna highlight this row first then press control uh, uh highlight the second row while uh, control has been pressed and then uh, let go of control then click on this icon here to get these options so once you get here you search for accounting okay so you can see this is a number format okay uh, search for accounting click on accounting and then you'll notice here my system has been set in such a way that uh, it uses the dollar as the currency okay uh, if you you set your system to use the dollar as the currency then it should all go according to plan but if your system is set in such a way that it uses rands even if you change uh, using these options here it won't really give you a correct answer when you run it or when you submit it it will say you used an incorrect currency or something like that okay so it's better it is better that you change your system not on excel because you can change that here on excel but the uh the changes won't really uh, uh contribute towards your you getting 100 percent okay so they won't they won't really affect your final result but if you change on the system uh it will it will accept that you've used the correct currency okay so let's click on this one Okay, after clicking on that, you can, you can see now we've got the dollar signs next to the numbers here. Uh, and the second part of the instruction told us that we need to uh, use the comma style for the remaining rows, okay? So, uh, comma style is under your styles, okay? Uh, click on styles and then you're looking for this one here, okay? Click on comma. And you've basically done with step number eight. And then uh, save your document and continue to the next.